Hi, I'm Shannon Anderson. And I'm Jay Wilson. We're the curators for the Further Apart Things Seen. The Further Apart Things Seen is a loose bookend to our first curatorial effort called The Closer Together Things Are, which is about nearness and similarity. This show is about resistance, how we develop strategies to opposition or use our difference to come closer together. The first artist you may encounter when you come into the exhibition is the work of Anna Binta Diallo. She's a Senegalese uh, Canadian artist that was born in St. Boniface. She moved to Montreal and now she currently resides in Manitoba. Anna uses her art practice as a way of delving into questions about collective history, individual memories and narratives. She uses making as an act of resistance by bringing contradictions and things that are in conflict together. Anna focuses on how closely we're intertwined by showing the similarities and things that are different. By exploring the diaspora, personal memory, and nostalgia, Anna finds common ground by gathering images, photos, words, and memories through collage. She uses a strategy of constraints that help her structure how she puts her gathered imagery together. This is a body of work by Adriana Kuiper and Ryan Suter, who are artists based in Sackville, New Brunswick. They use found objects and quilts as a stand-in for sound, since many of the motifs play on patterns of quilting, yet depict symbols that evoke sound waves, fast forward or play buttons, pause icons, noise or music. The objects they use both make and deaden sound. In conversation, they create a kind of feedback loop. The work feels like a silent or muffled protest, it's both extroverted and exuberant, but also introverted and silent. The videos are transitional elements between the materiality and immaterial elements of the installation by evoking balance and steadiness, motion and stillness. This is the work of Atnis Bosdorov. He's um, an artist from Toronto and he has a physical disability. He walks with a cane and he has uh, leg braces that he constantly wears and has to repair from wear and tear. He uses failure, provisionality, humor, and repair to point out barriers to access that he encounters daily and which others might overlook. Atnes deals with questions of access in all its forms in his work. He looks at failures of accommodation that others him by switching up and contrasting the material assumptions the world makes about him as a person living with a disability. Brendan Lee Sadish Tang, Brendan's work deals with ideas around identity, race, and toxic masculinity. The Joss paper tradition of burning objects as offerings to loved ones in the afterlife, or the New Age tradition of writing down anxieties and burning them as a way of letting go of those histories are strategies that Brendan uses in his work. The video shows the burning process in reverse and also playing forward as a way of restoring loss. The works in the exhibition are similarly connected to Ford 150 culture, and the ritual of burning is an offering of both acceptance and resistance. Barbara's work has a preoccupation with the formality of nets as it intersects with her interest in alchemy and to sculpture in general. The nets in these photographic sculptures are from the mountains of Peru, where the people that live there take action against growing water insecurity due to the effects partially of copper mining. Barbara uses juxtaposition and combination in an alchemical sense to depict con conflict. The sculptures are both photographic works and sculptures, heavy and light, soft and sharp. Cousine Van Hoevelen is an indigenous artist that lives in Bowmanville, Ontario. Cousine creates hybridized objects that link his Inuit heritage with Western techniques. The dog bollard is both on guard and at rest. It calmly allows passage while blocking the way. The dog is also a sentinel spirit, but also a silent guard. The sleeping sled dog is part of a cultural transportation system that is rendered in an inert and heavy material. The dog is conceptually linked to the pallet, the humatik, as both an engine and mode of transportation. The further apart things seen is on the Ring Gallery at Contemporary Calgary till May 22nd. We hope you'll come and experience the exhibition in person.